Hi, good day. Welcome to CMS. In this video, we will continue for the MAB quant surveying. Okay, what about the drainage and water supply? CMS also give you an indication for the prices or for the costs according to the market and according to the method of the calculation as the subcontractors commonly using. So you can also have a figure for all the drainage system and, so, and the water supply for the construction building. But CMS provides you all the required material for each bathroom, all the required materials for the wash, for the WC, and for each item related to the water supply and the drainage work. What you will do only you will insert the numbers of the bathroom according to their type. If you have wash area, if you have kitchen, numbers of the heaters, number of the tanks, and number of the pumps. Then you will put also a purchasing price for these items according to the market. For this, let's talk about these tables. So inform me here about the water supply. He gave you a two choice of the water supply pipes and the prices for this pipes and all its accessories like like elbows and the female elbows T and the female T and the sockets and the bend and the valve. That's most of the uh, accessories using in the water supply. You have a two choice here. That's the common prices for them, either BBR pipes or GI pipes. You will insert here the both uh, the both prices according to your location. Then you will choose which type you will need, either the BBR or the galvanized. That's only for your reference and for your comparing to decide which type you can use. You would like to use here. Same as giving you the numbers of the accessories and the pipes required for each bathroom. If you need to change the numbers, you can change according to the size of your bathroom, but, but that's the common quantities. The same for the drainage, here also the common quantities for each bathroom. That's the price for the same pipes and accessories for the drainage. If you have uh, extra drainage for uh, the typical floors, it's also can you, it can be added here if you, have, if you need to change the numbers for the, for the, the typical bathrooms. Because uh, when you are going for high riser, you have to add more materials. And whatever you have extra materials, you can add it here. This all will be calculated for one bathroom. When you insert the numbers of bathrooms, or kitchen, or wash, it will be calculated directly all the material required for this project. And you will insert also the price for the items for bathroom and wash and kitchen and the heaters and, and pumps and tanks and the labor charge for each bathroom. At the end, you will have the full cost estimation for the project divided by material and bath sets and heaters and the cost of the labor. At the end, you will have the full price or full cost of the, of the sanitary and water supply work. So mainly when you, you can use CMS directly to by inserting the price for the uh, each material and numbers of the kitchen and bathrooms and other water facilities. At the end you will have this price directly. Or you can add here directly the price from the contract. CMS also gives a facility to make a, to find an indication for the fire system that most of the materials used in the fire fighting and fire alarm. You can add here the quantities and the price. Then installation and commissioning for this for the fire system. You can add it as a percentage of the materials. That's also the common practice in the market. At the end, you will have the full price for the fire system, fire alarm and firefighter. Or you can add direct the price from the subcontract. Same also for the AC, the air condition or the HVAC. That's the common types of the AC using in the construction. And insert here the capacity for each type. And the price per ton for each type. And the quantities from the drone. According to the drone, we can count all the numbers of the AC with each ton. So we have, have here two ton and one and a half ton and two and a half ton. So you will count each capacity separately and put the numbers if we are talking about the spirit unit you will put the numbers here directly 
here we have an air condition calculator that's uh, to know approximate how many how much capacity you need for each space if you need to use it you can use it only for your information or your references or you will bring the price from a subcontractor and you will add it here directly and CMS will consider it in the cost estimation that's contribution of CMS in MAP work it is only to give you an indication for the prices or indication for the material which can be used in MAP work inside your project for your reference but better also to provide a prices because actually when you are provided when you are arranging for a prices you can find big gaps between all the subcontractors when you spread the tender for MAP work as a contractor or a developer or a consultant when you spread a uh, tender for MAP work to MAP contractors you will receive a quotations and actually you will surprise with the big gap between each other so the, when you are doing this estimation and they get approximate figure by CMS you can identify evaluate and judge what is the proper price you, you received already from your subcontractors that's for the MAP and for the full QS now we already finished the full QS work as we mentioned before in the last video you will see mace are providing you the full material takeoff and full bill of quantity as we saw in the latest video we will start the cost estimation and how CMS will give you directly with the very with the very very less effort a full cost estimation and budget for the project actually conserving have the most efforts in CMS after this cost estimation and the scheduling and the feasibility study will be as a direct output from the conserving as we will see in next videos thank you for watching and see you bye